in our hearts today. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we want to thank you. Hallelujah. For this is another occasion that you've allowed us to come together one more time, God. We bless your name this morning, God. We give you the glory and all the honor and all the praise because it belongs unto you, God. Thankful just for another day, God, you've allowed us to see how you woke us this morning in our right mind, oh God, with the blood running warm in our veins. Lord, we have the activities of our limbs and the articulation of our speech. God. God, we're able, hallelujah, to express, hallelujah, our love for you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And for that, we're grateful, God. Thank you for everything that you've done in our lives. Thank you for life, health, and strength, oh God. Thank you for the homes that we occupy, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we thank you for the jobs that you've given us. Thank you for the ways that you've made, prayers that you've answered for us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. It is because we appreciate all all that you've done, that we've come to give you the glory. Hallelujah. We've come to give unto you the honor, oh God. We've come to give unto you the praise in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come before you with thanksgiving in our hearts. Hallelujah. Being thankful unto you and we come to bless your holy name. Have your way in our midst on today, God. Hallelujah. Come in our midst. For you said, where two or three are gathered, hallelujah, Jesus, in your name, that you be in the midst of us, Lord. We welcome your presence, God. We welcome your power, God. We welcome, hallelujah, God, your word on today. Speak to our hearts, God. Speak to our several situations. Lord, open doors. Make ways for us, God. We need you, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not ashamed to express our need for you. Have your way in us, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, remember your people today here and everywhere as we gather together hallelujah in the houses of the lord hallelujah lord have your way in the midst of us we need you lord hallelujah and we thank you hallelujah in jesus name we pray and let all the saints say Amen. come on and bless the lord somebody hallelujah thank you thank you hallelujah jesus thank you lord hallelujah we just give god all the glory we're gonna have our scripture reading amen hallelujah Thank you, Lord. I don't see that person here. Can I have a Bible? Amen. I'll read the scripture. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Turn with us, amen, to the 27th Psalm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and bless him. Amen. 27th Psalm. Hallelujah. Psalms 27. Amen. A Psalm of David. And David said, the earth is the Lord. The Lord is my light, I'm sorry, and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing, hallelujah, have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of those five verses. Hallelujah. Of the 27th Psalm. Amen. In Jesus name. Come on and give God a hand. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. The windows of heaven are open and the fires fall into night. I've got joy, joy, joy in my soul since Jesus did everything all right. Said I gave him my old filthy garment and he gave me a whole wash and wide. Now I'm feasting on manna from heaven. That is why I'm happy tonight. You know the windows of heaven are open and the fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, joy, joy in my soul since Jesus paid everything all right. And I gave him my old filthy garment and he gave me a robe of wine. Now I'm feasting on men of the heaven. That is why I'm happy 
graves and eyes. Ooh, you know the windows of heaven are open and the fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, joy, joy in my soul to Jesus made everything all right. You know I gave him my opening on and he gave me That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy tonight. I've got joy, joy down in my soul. Jesus did everything alright. You know I gave him my robe and he gave me a robe like a wife. Now I'm feasting on men of the why I'm happy tonight. Can you turn that mic down right there? Can you turn that mic right there? there? That, can you turn this that one. mic down? It should be no mic louder than the leader's mic. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on and bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Testing. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We can really open our testimony service. Hallelujah. Look, you get to testify. Amen. To the glory of God. Hallelujah. We don't three people. Amen. Because it don't look like we really excited to. <laughs> amen. To testify in Jesus' name. Monique. Good morning, everybody. Giving honor to God. Giving honor to the, the bishop and his wife, the elders, and the, the everyone here today. I'm sounding sad today. It's because I keep failing tests. And I keep putting other people first and trying to take care of their needs. And I'm asking God to please help me and to continue to fill me with his Holy Spirit. I'm glad to be here. And I had such a good time, and I don't want to go back to, to Baltimore. And yesterday, I fellowship. But one important thing that happened on Friday, I tried to be here. But I failed God because of the bad decision that I made trying to help others out. And I'm just asking the Lord to give me the strength and the wisdom that I need to carry on. And you all continue to pray my strength in God. Hallelujah. I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be he praised i sing praises i sing praises to your name I sing praises to your name. I sing praise. 
great. Hallelujah. Whoa. Boy. For your name is great and greatly to be praised. For your name is great. For your name is great and greatly to be praised. Come on and bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Who will testify the goodness of the Lord, Cheryl? Hey, hallelujah. Hey. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Still alive in my right mind. Still can walk and talk. Still can drive my car except for nighttime. <laughs> That's all right. But I'm still but I'm still going on. That's right. I just want to stand and give God all the praise on today because he is worthy of the praise. I just wanted to stand and say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I, I'm dependent on you every step of the way. And I want to sing a, a little bit of this song. Let me see. Jesus. Just went right out of my mind. Eyes have not seen, neither ear have not heard yet, nor has it entered in the hearts of men, men yet. yet what the Lord has, has prepared for his children who loves him. It's in the making, just wait on the Lord. Eyes have not seen, neither is, have not heard yet, nor has it entered in the hearts of men yet. What the Lord has prepared for his children who loves him. It's in the making. Just wait on the Lord. Wait, 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 wait. Just wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. It's in the making. Yes, hallelujah. It is. My healing is coming. Yes, I it just is. gotta wait on the Lord. I just gotta wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Y'all pray my strength in the Lord. Hallelujah. I feel like you're giving God the glory. Oh God the glory. God the glory. Church, I feel like giving God the glory. He has been so good to me. Church, I feel like giving God the glory. Oh, God the glory. God the glory. Church, I feel like giving God the glory. He has been so good to me. He's been so good, so good, so good, so good. He has been, he's been so good, so good, so good. He has been so good to me. I feel like giving God the glory. Oh, God the glory, God the glory. Church, I feel like giving God the glory. He has been so good to me. Yeah, he's been so good. Jesus, he's good. The Holy Ghost is good. Oh, he's been so good. He's been so good. 
Come on, point it out. He has been to me. Hallelujah. Have it been good to you? Thank you, Lord. Have it been good to you, George? Thank you, Lord. Have it been good to you, Trisha? Thank you, Have it been good to you, Storm? Have it been good to you, Jackie? Have it been good to you, Phyllis? Have it been good to you, Shante? Let me hear you say, yeah! Hallelujah. Been so good to me. Thank you, Lord. I can't testify for you. You only you know what God done for you. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Folk can talk all they want to talk. But I know what God done for me. Hallelujah. And because of what he done, I got a right to give him praise. Tell somebody I got a right Thank you, Lord. to praise him. Thank you, Lord. I got a right Thank you, Lord. to praise him. Praise him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Got a right to praise. Thank you. Because it's been good to me. Who the next person? Who the next person testifying? Come on and praise the Lord with me. 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 Hallelujah. I was even just cutting grass in the yard, and I fell out. I had pain in my chest so bad, you know, and I think I'm a young man. I'm in my 60s, but I still think I'm a young man. You're you know, still a I young man. Up, <laughs> that's right. I got up there and cutting grass, and I passed out, and I went to the emergency room, uh, you know, at VA, and they checked me out. They said I was okay. They didn't see nothing wrong with my heart, and I went to I still had pain, real bad pain in my chest. So I went to, the next day I went to Langley, and they say, they don't see nothing, and everything's okay. But uh, they said they're going to do a stress test. But I just thank God that I didn't pass out and stay out. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm still here. You know, I don't know, what's, I don't know what's going on, but I know God is a healer. And I'm claiming healing right now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go. Down through the years. God's been good to me, oh, down, down through, through the years. years. 
God's been good to me, oh, down through the years. God's been good to me. He said he's been good, he's been really been good to me. God's been good to me. Oh, all of, all of my life. God's been good to me all of my life. Oh, all of my life. God's been, God's been good to me. All of my life. God's been good to me. He said he's been good. Been good. Real good. Been good to me. God's been good to me. Trouble in my way, trouble in my way. I had to cry sometimes. I had to cry sometimes. Oh, so much trouble. Trouble in my way. I had to cry sometimes. I had to cry sometimes. You lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. Oh, but that's alright. That's alright. I know Jesus, Jesus, he will fix it. I know that Jesus, Jesus, he will fix it. I know Jesus, Jesus, he will fix it. After a while, after a while, oh, step in the furnace, step in the furnace. A long time ago, long time ago, Shadrach, Meshach, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Abednego. Oh, but they wasn't worried. They weren't worried. This I know. This I know. I know that Jesus, Jesus, He will fix it. I know Jesus, Jesus, He will fix it. I know Jesus, Jesus, He will fix it. Do you know Jesus, Jesus, He will fix it. I know Jesus, Jesus, He will fix it. After a while, after a while, trouble in my way, trouble in my way. I had to cry sometimes. I had to cry sometimes. Time. Oh, trouble, 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 trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. Oh, that's alright. That's alright. Oh, I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus Jesus, he will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, he will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, he will fix it. After a while. After a while. Hallelujah. Jesus yeah. will fix it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has been so good to me. I just want to get up and sing that song. You know, it's been on my heart all week. I just, want to, I just want to thank God for allowing me to drive across the country, not once, but twice, yeah. with, with no problems with my car. Yeah. The California, I went to California two, year, two, three years ago. I had to drive, yeah. and I drove back, and I had to go back by myself. Come on now. And, and I just want to thank God that won't no accident. No accident. God allowed me to travel in mercy. Yes, he did. I just want to praise God and thank God for that. And y'all pray for me in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, I just want to thank you. Oh, Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for being so good to me. You're so good to me. Oh, Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Oh, you've been so good. Lord, I just want to thank you. Oh, Lord. Lord, I just want to thank you. Oh, Lord. I want to thank you for being so good to me. You're so good to me. Oh, Lord, I just want to thank you. to 
me. You're so good to me, Lord. You're so good to me. Ah. You're so good to me, Lord. You're so good to me. You're so good to me. You're so good to me, Lord. You're so good to me. You're so good to me, Lord. You're so good to me. You're so good to me. You're so good to me. I wanna thank you for being so good to me. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise your name, Lord. Lord, I give you honor and I bless your magnificent name, God. I just want to stand up and say thank you, Lord. Thank you for being so good to me, God. You're so good and I don't even deserve it, Lord. I just want to thank the Lord. Y'all know I said the prayer request, the request out. As y'all see, my husband walked in here without his crutches on this all morning. Right, all right, and all I right. said, Lord, I just want to say thank you. All right. There was no broken bones or anything. He just had a real bad in, uh, uh, hit to his knee. And I thank the Lord for that. How the, how the Lord just kept him because he had to go out of town at the same time. And he wow. had to have a wheelchair, break his conference, and come back early in a wheelchair. And I said, what the world, Lord? Keep him all the way here. And he did just that. He did yeah, just that. He did exactly what I asked yeah, him to do. Yeah. And I thank him for that. And I thank him that his mother is home from the hospital. He is keeping her, and I thank him for that. I thank him how she fell during the hurricane, and she fell and she broke her arm, but the Lord, even in that, he didn't let it take her life. Thank and you. I thank him for the small things. Hallelujah. I thank him for the little things. I thank him for all the things that we put before him in prayer. I thank him that he hears our cry, and he listens to our pleas, and I thank him for that. Y'all continue to pray for the right Charlotte family. this morning and ain't got all this pain up in my feet because he's feet been doing some things but I thank God that he's giving me strength to be in the house today and I'm um, I gotta tell a little piece on my husband's testimony back there I gotta tell a little piece because it got something to do with me too you know y'all know y'all remember back in January when he was up in the hospital with a blood sugar on 925 and a hemoglobin A1C of 14.5. But glory be to God. He didn't take him out. He didn't take him out. He was diagnosed with diabetes. Insulin dependent. But glory be to God. You know the God that we serve. That heals all sickness and disease. His doctors say, you're always going to have to take this insulin. I say, the God that we serve heals all sickness and disease. I said, Michael, ain't no truth in that. You ain't always got to take no insulin. When the last time you had an insulin shot, he don't even know. Because that's how long it's been. And he had lab work done. His hemoglobin A1C is 5.5. 5.5. Not five, even five. Come to on, the man. point of pre-diabetes is normal. Hey. It's normal. It's normal. Hey. It's normal. Hey. It's normal. Don't tell me God can't heal. Don't tell me it's always got to be that way. Because God got the final say. Whose report will you believe? I will always believe the report of the Lord. And I say glory to God. I say glory to God. Because in that, it caused us to change a few things. Discipline ourselves. Y'all see, he ain't as heavy as it used to be. Because he lost weight and moving about. But God, he'll put some things in your way for you to do what you got to do. So that you can be ready 
for him to use you like he want to. And I say glory to God. And I just want to thank him. Because God is a good God. Yes, he is. Our God is a good God. Yes, he is. Know for myself that he's a healer. He's a deliverer. He's a protector. He's a provider. Can't nobody take his place. Continue to pray for us. Nastasha, Nastasha. I'm so glad I'm here in Jesus' name. So glad I'm here in Jesus' name. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. You and you and you and you. You and you and you and you. I come to praise His name. I'm so glad I'm here in Jesus' name. I'm so glad I'm here in Jesus' name. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. You and you and you and you. You and you and you and you. I come to pray tonight. I come to clap my hands. I come to clap my hands. excited to be in the house of the yeah, Lord on today. Life. You know, <laughs> my health always trying to take me out, but I'm still 
excited and grateful to be in the house of the Lord yes, because yes. it could have been my last day on yesterday. So I thank God for continuing to strengthen me. And no matter what, to continue to live a for God I live, for God I die type of life because if you in Jesus, you're going to live anyway. So I thank God for strengthening my mind to continue to press on in the name of Jesus because truly I want to see my Lord and Savior. I thank God for yesterday how it was truly just, it was a great day for me. And I thank God for how I got to spend time with my mother. And it was just different. <laughs> but it was a good different, and I thank God because God was showing me you're not going to have the relationships you gonna, you want to have, but he, you're going to have the relationship that's going to take you to the next level for you to be stronger in me because sometimes we can get so comfortable with people and situations that lo the Lord can't have his way in our life. So, Lord, I just ask God to help me not to take people in situations for granted, but he's going to give each and every one of us the people, the situations that's going to grow us in him if we just allow him to – Take control and relinquish so that we can be all that he desires us to be in him. I truly am just grateful and thankful for another day to give him all the glory, the honor, and the praise because it didn't have to be. Y'all continue to pray my strength in the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. I'm just saying, I'm glad the Lord let me get up this morning to be here again to see y'all faces. And you know I'm going to sing my song before I sit down. Amen. And don't forget, I had two more weeks I'll be in New Mexico with my son. And I'll be thinking, well, somebody, I got y'all numbers. I'll call y'all and let y'all know I got down there. So my son said, Mom, say, if you come here, you might meet a husband. I said, I didn't come to meet a husband. I come to see you. <laughs> so, and um, I'm thankful God that car accident, if y'all seen the, my car in the front, y'all would have thought I got hurt. But when that, I hit the lady car, slid into her car, I got right out of my car, and I praised the Lord. And even the people in the car was crying. They were praising God. And I praised the Lord because I, I said, I, mm, I'm getting out of here. And one lady said, can I help you? I said, no. So I went to the car to see how the other lady was doing. She was doing good, too. She got in her car. We started hugging each other, praising God. So <laughs> God is good. Especially to me, what I done went through, what I done did in the past life, but God is so good. He is that. He's an on time God. Yes, he is. Sheila, he's an on time God. Yes, he is. So says, he may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. Yes, he is. You can ask the children of Israel. Oh, Mama, sing it. Trapped by the Red Sea. Uh huh. By that mean old Pharaoh and, and his, his army. army. He got water all around them. And Pharaoh's on their track. But God stepped in. And build a highway just like that. He's an on time God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, 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 on time God. Yes, he is. You may not come when you want it, but he'll be there right on time. You can ask the 5,000 All right now Hungry, so he fed On the bank of the river Two fish and fried loaves of bread What a miracle Uh-huh Of an altar too What he did Way back then, he do the same for me and you. Oh, let me tell you, he's, he's an on time God. Yes, he is. Oh, 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 on time God. Yes, he is. Mother, he may not come when you want it. Oh, 
upon me but I did not claim it only thing my result came back I had the virus but it won't no COVID thank God all right, hallelujah. and all through this week the devil trying to busy me trying to trouble me and I was making grocery of that day and I had my credit card and when I credit card and I thought I, the lady gave it back to me so when I went back to the store, she said she didn't see it. I said, okay, so let me cancel that front of your face. That's what I did. I canceled in front of you. Oh, no, because you did not work for your money. I did. And I told my grandson, I said, let me tell you something what God had done for me. Come on. The bank alert to me told me somebody trying to order something on my credit card. And I'm glad I did count them. But I just thank God 
that my money that I work for for Newfoundland New Public School is still there. They're blocking and everything. But I thank y'all for praying for me because I was in and out. I didn't know what was going on with me. The devil trying to take me out, but I'm still here. And thank y'all for y'all prayer. Hallelujah. Come on and bless the Lord, Saint. Hallelujah. I know all y'all want to testify. Hallelujah. Everybody want to jump in the water when it's running. But thank God. Hallelujah. Thank y'all to jump in there before it starts running. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, but God is a good God. We thank him. Amen. For every testimony, for all the songs. Hallelujah. For how good God has been. Amen. God is a good thank God. You, Hallelujah. Thank God for Sister Eula's testimony. Amen. And the Lord, hallelujah, not letting her be sick of COVID. Amen. Protecting her money. Hallelujah. Amen. Why are you sleeping? Somebody trying to get your funds. Hallelujah. But I thank God, amen, for him keeping, amen, her. Thank God, hallelujah, for him keeping Storm as he traveled back and forth. A young man, amen, walked by faith, had to travel all the way across the country. Hallelujah. Couldn't say I'm not going. Amen. But he went on anyhow. Jesus said, if you go, I'll go with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And we believe God. We thank him. Amen. For Sister Sheila's testimony concerning her husband. Hallelujah. The doctor will say, always. Hallelujah. But don't you know whose report will you believe? Hallelujah. I believe the report of the Lord. His report say, I'm healed. Hallelujah. His report say, I'm free. And I praise him. Hallelujah. Who else testified? Amen. Now, wait a minute. I got to get all the testimonies. Oh, thank God for Sister Nastasia's testimony. Hallelujah. How oh, gosh, she had a good day yesterday. Amen. It's good to celebrate them good days. Hallelujah. Thank you. Because sometime, amen, tomorrow is going to be terrible. Y'all ever had a good day and the next day is a horrible day? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But God, amen, always give us a good day. Amen. You know why he give us a good day? So you can think on those things. When you're going through the hard time, think on the good things. Hallelujah. Thank God for Sister Barbara testimony. I thought Dodger people were here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When I looked up, it was Barbara singing. Hallelujah. We give God the glory. We give God all the praise. We give him the honor. Thank you, amen, for all that we've been through for the last two weeks. Amen. We facilitated, amen, two conferences on the last two weeks. Hallelujah. And it may, it may seem confusing to some, amen, but it's just, just fellowship. Tell somebody it's just fellowship. fellowship. Hallelujah. Amen. It's just fellowship trying to build relationship. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we're not... Amen. One thing we're not in is something where somebody telling us what to believe. Hallelujah. Amen. Just fellowship that tries to be a relationship. It is, amen, imperative that we don't isolate ourselves. Amen. And that we get to know that there are other people just like us. Hallelujah. Amen. Other people out here praising the name of Jesus. Amen. Other people out here worshiping him in spirit and in truth. And other people going through the same thing. Amen. That you are going through. Isn't it comforting to know Hallelujah, that God will take you through it. Do you know that, Sophia? Do you know that God will take you through it, Tricia? Do you know that he'll take you through, you, take you through it, Ursula? He'll take you through it. Hallelujah. Devastation come. Amen. All kind of things happen into our lives. Somebody say, I've had some trials and tribulations. Unexpected. Unexpected situations. Huh? Living here. Living here below. Hallelujah. But don't you know that God do it for our good? He mean it for our good. The devil mean it for bad. But God, he mean it for our good. So we bless him today. And we give him all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. Amen. I digress. Amen. I, I, told, I told Sister Peter, I, I know we all tired. Hallelujah. Because we've been through a lot. Amen. We've been through a lot. But in the, in the reflection, amen, of, of, of just what we're going through and what we have to do, hallelujah, I'm so glad that we got people, amen, that's willing to do, amen, what need to be done. I sent that email, our text out, I mean, to Minister Gray, and I hope you got that text, hallelujah, because that's from my heart, amen, everybody who was involved in making the conferences, both conferences successful, amen, I want to give you a round of applause, hallelujah. Sister Pierce and I want to applaud you, amen. For your diligent effort in planning it and executing it, hallelujah, and for the love that you demonstrated and showed, amen, toward the people, amen. I want to say something special, amen, about Marcus and Tamika. Can I say something special about Marcus and Tamika? Tamika say, no, don't say nothing special, but I got to say it anyway, hallelujah, amen. I thank God for them, 
Amen. Because they are two people that have the church in their heart. I mean, the welfare, the benefit, and making it look good. They got it in their heart to make it look good. What you see, amen, here today, a lot of this, amen, the color, amen, when that vestibule, amen, when you come in those doors, that's 100% Tamika. 100%. Amen. That's her, that's her diligent effort, amen, to make the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Look beautiful. Amen. Hallelujah. Some folk don't care what they worship in. Hallelujah. But I care, amen, what we worship in because what we worship in ought to personify the God that we serve. How many people believe that? Hallelujah. Amen. He, even when he built the tent, it wasn't just a tent. It was an elaborate piece of tapestry. Amen. That was crafted by skilled men. It was beautiful. Hallelujah. It was ornamented. Beautiful. Amen. Because God, amen, expect the best. Hallelujah. He's looking for the best out of us. So we thank God for Marcus and Tamika. And I know that God won't forget them. Tell them God won't forget you. The Bible says God will not forget your labor of love, which you minister to the saints and do minister. Hallelujah. Not that you used to do it, but you're still doing it. Hallelujah. God won't forget it. So I thank God for them. Thank God for every one of you. I'd like to say Sheila and, 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 and Trisha. Amen. Because I call people by their first name. Because that's a term of endearment. That's what I learned. I learned when you call me Pierce, you don't know me. Come on. Come on. And you, you call me Bishop. But my mama named me Leon. And my family called me Tim. Amen. And those who love me, amen. I tell you, people say bishop out of respect. Hallelujah. You, but I don't care if you call me Leon, if you love me. But you're not going to call me Leon and call Carl Pastor. That's not happening. Amen. Because that's disrespectful. Yeah, you can call me Tim. Family. family. <laughs> Come on and get them, Daniel. But so, 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 but we thank the Lord. We just thank God for everybody who helped us. I mean, I thank God for, for, for Sheila and, and, and Trisha. Amen. And for, they really work hard. And Karen, because what we put together, when I heard that choir, I was really, I'm, I'm, I'm really just like, I'm just, y'all hurt me now. When I heard y'all singing, I said, Lord, what do we got here? That's not the same choir that was at the other. It wasn't the same choir. And the quality was so did y'all did y'all did y'all hear them? Yeah. And I seen Jessica up there. Yeah. And Carl, I got mad. Got a little jealous. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> what the world. But I thank the Lord. Thank God for the musicians. Amen. They with they, they, they the musician Karen sent an email out a text out and said the musician won't be here. So I asked Derek. I said, Can you come and fill in? Amen. And he was willing to fill in. But more important, he 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 wanted to come to church. Amen. And I he wanted to come to church. And he, and he wanted to know why the church didn't want him to come. Come on. Never that. Never. 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 Yes, sir. Sometimes that's how folk feel. Huh? Sometimes that's how folk feel. Folks want to come, but they feel like we don't want them to come. Hallelujah. But everybody welcome here. Is everybody welcome? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Because the only way I believe the only way you're gonna be changed is through the Word of God. How many people believe that? It's not the song that we sing, it's not the music that we hear, but it's the Word of God. Hallelujah! The Word of God will do the work, and so we bless the Lord. We just thank God for the conference and thank God that it's over. Tell somebody, thank God that it's over. Hallelujah! Amen. Now, now, 
Now we just got a couple of things. We got other things that we got. We wrapping up the year. We got the we got the anniversary coming. I'm just I'm gonna put a plug for the anniversary. Look, if you ain't listen, listen to me now, y'all listen. Hey man, we're not mandating that anybody pay that three hundred and fifty dollars, but we want everybody to come to that the anniversary. Amen. Now just pay come to the anniversary. I don't care whether you pay the three fifty or not. Don't let that three fifty exclude you from the anniversary. Just come on to the anniversary. Don't nobody know who paid and who didn't pay. Hello, somebody. Hey Amen. We don't keep no records. Hey Amen. Not no record that I see. Hallelujah. So I'm not worried about that. But I do want us to share in the celebration, amen, of our 25th year. Hallelujah. I want everybody to be able to experience the, the 25th year, amen, celebration. Hallelujah. Come on to fellowship with the saints. We got the Jones singers. Y'all know Jones? Do y'all know the Jones singers? Amen. We got the Jones singers coming to, amen, for our worship. Hallelujah. The Jones singers, some good singers. I remember when Ruby Turner was living in the Jones singers. Hallelujah. That's why I got that song from, no, I won't go back. <laughs> No, I won't go back. Oh, my God's been good to me. Jesus has set me free. Oh, no, I won't go back. Oh, I tell you, no, I won't go back. Oh, no, I won't go back. My God's been good to me. Jesus has set me free. Oh, no, I won't. This is what I got for them. I won't go back. 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 Suffering, not go back. Praying, not go back. No, I won't go back. No, I won't go back. Oh, my God's been good to me. Jesus has set me free. Oh, I won't go back. And my, my ear is going to be listening for some more. So I can, Come on. So I can grow my, my song list. Hallelujah. But we praise the Lord. We thank him. Amen. We're going to have our announce, uh, welcome. Amen. By Lady Robbins Houston. If after followed by our announcement by Sister Edna Major, and then we had an offering, and after that, amen, the choir coming to give us uh, whatever they're going to do. <laughs> praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Everybody ought to praise the Lord. I'm here to get a welcome on this morning. I just want to thank God for you, you, and you. I just want to thank him for my life, my strength, and my hallelujah, my hallelujah to him. I just want to thank him, hallelujah, for bringing me out this here Sunday morning. Hallelujah. I just want to thank him for an abundance of things. God is so good. Hallelujah. He brought us through that conference and my, and my feet too. And I just want to thank him for that on today. I just want to thank him. Hallelujah, Jesus. And for those that are on Facebook and um, on YouTube later on, I just want to thank God for you too. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in and praise the Lord with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Is it on? Yeah, it is. Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. What are we doing? Building. Okay. Uh, weekly announcements for 10, 6, 24. It says weekly announcements and reminders. Today following, directly following morning service, the evangelist, uh, evangelism team will meet with Bishop Pierce and you, and after that, at the service today, it'll be an usher meeting. Okay. An usher meeting, briefly usher meeting today as well. It says birthdays, Monday, 10 7, is Sister Eula Ellison. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Wednesday, 10 9, is Sister Shirley Ely. Happy birthday to you. It's a Thursday, 10, 10, um, Sister Patty Washington. Happy birthday! <laughs> it 
it's a uh, Thursday anniversaries. Also, 1010 is a Elder Randy and Sister Patty Washington. Happy anniversary to you. It's a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday through Saturday. Prayer will convene over the Zoom video conference platform. <laughs> if you desire to participate in our prayer, it say please contact Elder Randy Gray. His number is listed. Or Minister Sophia White. Her number is listed as well for the prayer passcode. Tuesday night, charting the course podcast broadcast over the Emmanuel Church YouTube channel at 7 p.m. To view previous topics pertaining to our daily lives and gain insight that will help you according to the word of God. And say Wednesday, corporate fasting is 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. typically or any 12 hours consecutively. At 7 p.m., Bible teaching in the building. It says save the dates. Uh, candy is being accepted for the Harvest Festival trunk or tree. It says please provide your items to sh- Sister Lashante Robinson or Shaniqua Major. It says Sunday, 10, 13, directly following morning service, the Emmanuel Pearls will meet to discuss end of the year plans. 25th anniversary news. Woo! In preparation of our 25th anniversary, each individual was asked to give 350. We are approaching our date. Please see finance to fulfill this request. Our anniversary celebration will be held on October the 19th at Queen Street North Worship Center, Hampton, um, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. This is a formal celebration. Guest speaker is Bishop Gregory Wood of Church of the Living Word in Haynes, Virginia. Guest musicians are the Jones Singers, Our colors are blue, white, and silver. Our 25th anniversary, October 19th, ticket prices are $50 for ages 11 and up, $25 for ages 4 to 10, and it say no cost, 3 and under. It say, elders, if you desire to give word for the anniversary booklet, please do so by Wednesday the, uh, the 9th. It said the anniversary chairs needs a head count for attendees. Please see missionary Deborah Banks today. It says starting in November, port season will begin. We will be serving on Saturday, 11-9. Anyone who desire to serve the homeless community, please see Missionary Sheila Robinson or missionary uh, or minister Sophia White. Thank you. They say check check it out. Our cash app QR code has been added to the back of all programs. Donations may be made at dollar sign Emmanuel Church NN for anyone viewing who would like to sow into our ministry efforts and it said thank you and those are your announcements god bless let me get it for this thank you Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. It's, it's almost like, it's almost, y'all acting like almost like when it's time to pay your bills. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says more blessed to be able to, to give. Do y'all really believe that? Yes. Amen. It, it, is a, it is a blessing, and I will tell you, it is a blessing to be able to give. Hallelujah. That you can see fit. Amen. That you're able to give something, amen, to the Lord. Amen. Nobody, God not requiring all that we feel. Amen. You want a blessing, amen, give your tithe. If you believe that he's a give a tithe, bring your tithe to the storehouse. 
He said that it'll be meat in my house. That's what you can, you want the blessing. Hallelujah. But God know what you can give and what you can't give. And he know the measure of your faith that you have to give. Amen. And, and my demonstration of my faith is to give. Shouldn't it? Yes. I'm done. I'm done. I ain't going to talk no more. Hallelujah. So come on, Lums. Come on, stand on your feet. Hallelujah. Thank you. Huh? Yeah. Patty said, Pay ain't giving you tithe. Giving you, giving you tithe is a blessing. Huh? Huh? Is it giving, giving you tithe a blessing? Come on, let's stand, y'all. Y'all, I said, y'all don't want to give. You ain't standing. Can I stand with the offering, please? Come on. The usher started first. Oh, I'm so glad. Trouble don't last away. Oh, I'm so glad. Hey, hey, yes, I am. Trouble don't last away. Oh, I'm so glad. Hey, hey, yes, I am. Trouble don't Yes, I am. I'm so glad. Yes, I am. Trouble don't last away. I'm so glad. Yes, I am. Trouble don't last away. He's on time, on time. Oh, I tried, Jesus. I found him to be a friend of mine, of mine. When storm clouds rise in your life, I know Jesus, he'll be there. And every one of your burdens, I know that the Lord will help you to bear. You bear. I'm so glad. Hey, hey. Yes, I am. Trouble don't last always. I'm so Hey, hey. Yes, I am. Trouble don't last always. Weeping. That you thank bless, bless this offering, oh Father God, that we have received, for God. To thank everyone who had that they, they, they did give, and thank the one who couldn't didn't have anything to give, but they gave in, in their hearts. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. Come on, sing your choir. No, no, no. Trouble don't last always. Come on, sing your choir. Come on, sing your trouble, 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 trouble don't, don't last, last always. always. No, no, no trouble don't last always. Come on, everybody, come on, say trouble. Trouble don't last always. No, no, no trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last, trouble don't last always. You hear that, Veronica? No, no, no trouble don't. We've been made. We've been made. Keep the faith, it will be in May, we in May. Keep the faith, we'll 
Hallelujah. Come on, bless the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to do it a little different. I want to put the men in the middle and the, and the altos over that side. Hallelujah. But what, what I find is because nobody is a solid alto, then alto singing soprano. Amen. But if you get over here with the tenors, you ought to be able to find your alto note. Because your tenor is below the alto. Yeah, you come on, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord for that. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and praise the Lord. Folks don't even know what that means, do it? Hallelujah.
Yes, come on. Thank you, Lord. Come on, Elder Pam. Come on over here. See?
Come on, give the musicians a hand. Hallelujah. Can't do it. Amen. We can't do it without them. Hallelujah. We need them. Hallelujah. We appreciate them. Hallelujah. Thank God for the choir. Get a quiet hand. All those that just came up. Tiffany, I know you're not 50 yet, but you're still. Hallelujah. And Sherrod, thank you for coming up. Hallelujah. And helping us. Amen. Things go better when we, if we didn't learn nothing else. Hallelujah. We learned that. Things go better when we do it together. Truly, we honor the Lord. Thank God for the senior choir. Come on and give him a hand. Hallelujah. We ain't, we never, we never proclaiming ourselves to be singers. Hallelujah. But all of us can make a joyful noise. Hallelujah. And to the Lord. Hallelujah. He accept that. And I praise him, especially when we give it to him with a willing heart. Hallelujah. I don't want him to pull nothing from me like he pulling teeth. Amen. He been so good to me. Hallelujah. The least I can do, amen, is when he asks me to do something, just willingly do it. Have you ever did something for somebody, then you ask them to do something, they got a lot of excuses, and you 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 wondering, why in the world, aren't, why won't they do it? I do all this for them. I go out of my way for them to do them, and then you ask them to do something for you, and they like, can't do it. Amen. But that's how we treat God sometimes. How he do all of that for us. I'm talking about he do things that we know we don't deserve. Hallelujah. Do it for you. And then we just ask you to do one thing. You find 50 excuses not to do it. Hallelujah. But God looking for a willing mind. Amen. God not looking for all what we think he's looking for. The Bible says, if first there be a willing mind. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. When he give your offering, when they were given for the tabernacle, amen, in the book of Exodus, God say, God told the people, just ask the people, amen, and those that are willing. Hallelujah. Those that are willing. God wants folk that's willing to do it. And I thank God, amen, that we have a heart here at Emmanuel Church, amen, to do what the Lord say do. If you turn your attention, if you will, I'm not going to be before you long. I want to encourage somebody to heart. Hallelujah. Everybody. I want to encourage the musicians and the singers and the ushers. I want to encourage everybody to heart because we're living in a time when we need to be encouraged. Tell somebody, we don't need nobody to discourage us. Amen. I don't need nobody to discourage me. I need somebody to encourage me. Amen. I want. I, it's been a challenge to me. Amen. And in my mind, when I think about Jesus and just think about Jesus' relationship with people while he was right here on the earth. And, amen. I don't think he had a relationship with people just merely because he had to come here and die on the cross. But his relationship with people was not only witnessed, but it was transcribed on 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 tablets and left here amen so we could see it somebody took time to witness it and somebody took time to write it amen so that we could see it so we could amen read it and get a good characterization of christ but one thing that really got me about jesus is that he always dealt with the people that nobody else would deal with won't no picking and choosing with him and it was just, just the people that religiosity of that day, that that group of people, the church of that day, we would say the church, the, the scribes, the Pharisees, people they wouldn't have nothing to do with. That's why he was at the wine bibber's house. That's why he was hanging around with prostitutes because they wouldn't deal with them. Because we got this set, and, we, and, and for some reason, we read it, and then we transform not into Christ, but we transform into the Pharisee. And we get a Pharisaic mind. We judging everybody. Oh, they smoke. But Jesus would have went on with the smoke. You know why? Because he knew that the power of the word would change him. By and by. 
None of us came over here and changed the first day we got over here. None of us. Every one of us changed over the course of time. And we changed because we stay under the word. And I'm still resisting some. I've been over here 30 some years. I've still got some stuff that the word is still working on. He working on me, Cheryl. I'm never going to claim to be perfect because I know he's working on me, Jackie. But Jesus is still dealing with me, Kim. He's still dealing with me. He, he didn't leave me. Ain't that something, Cheryl? Where everybody else threw up their hands. Somebody say, when my friends walked away and turned back on me, nobody did, he stood right by my side. When I listened to what people told me when I came in the church, I would have thought that Jesus would have left me a long time ago. But you know what I found out, Jessica? He stayed right there. Hey, hallelujah. He's not so easy to give up. Even after years. He's not easy to give up. Hallelujah. He don't just quit on us. He love us and he's he there with us. On this, in, the, in this eighth chapter of the book of, I hope I'm in the right, let me, y'all hold on one minute because I might be in the wrong place and, and then y'all going to charge me. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all going to charge me and I'll say it ain't me. Let's turn, to, let's turn to Luke chapter 7. I'm in the right place. Luke chapter 7. Amen. Phyllis, you here today? Thank you. Let's, do, let, let's, look at, let's start looking at verse 36. 36. Luke 7 and 36. You know, uh, let, me, let, me, let me say this when Annette told me and that told me, because you know, the children talked to the mama. I don't know. When she told me that Derek said that the church don't want him, it really hurt my feelings. It hurt my feelings that even he would have that perception. Because a people's perception of us is what we portray. There has to be some, there has to be some portrayal there for people to perceive it. Has to be. We, we say, that ain't true. Yeah, it's something there. That we would, that people would think I'm not welcome. And if we had, if anybody had that perception, we'll never retain anybody. Not if the people who've been here don't feel welcome, then the people that's not here are not gonna feel welcome when they come. That's a problem. And so I thought about Jesus. I said, Well, Jesus. I'm thinking about Jesus. I say, well, how do you keep them, Lord, even though people are not 100% right? We got to have 100% right people. If they ain't 100% right, they got to be 99 and a half. That's all, that's all we can deal with in the church is 99 and a half. And, none of, and we got a nerd that only want to deal with 99 and a half, and you ain't 75%. I'm telling you. But Jesus was 100%. 100. And he was willing to deal with people of who were kind. nothing. That's right. They were totally yes. they were totally against the law. That's right. And a lot of things that people were doing in that day could have got them stoned. But Jesus was willing to deal with them. And what's amazing is it is the Bible say that he humbled himself. Unto death, but, the, but but even prior to that, he was humbling himself to humanity. That's right. That's right. To humanity, the humanity of men. He was touched. The Bible says we don't have a, such a high priest, a man that can't be touched, but he's touched by the feeling of our weaknesses. I'm talking about things that immobilize us, well, things that we can't get over, things that we can't have no strength of. Because when you're talking about infirmities, you're talking about an extreme weakness. A weakness. The man with the spirit of infirmity couldn't even pull himself to the pool. He touched by the feeling, the feeling of our infirmities. He touched and it touched him. So he here in the seventh chapter, 
of the gospel according to, I, I took the most extreme version, the most extreme thing, and it could be something that's more extreme than this. Let's start reading, Phyllis. Verse 36, mm -hmm. and I'm coming from the New King James mm -hmm. Version. Mm -hmm. Then one of the Pharisees asked him to eat with him. The Pharisee came, listen, the Pharisee came and asked him to come on and eat with me. This was Simon. Simon was a Pharisee. Amen. No doubt Jesus had impressed him some sort of way, and he wanted to give a little, a little bit more inspection of him. Mm -hmm. No more inspection than invite you to my house and you can sup with me. Amen. So he invited him to his house. Amen. Simon. Go ahead, Phyllis. And he went to the Pharisee's house. And he house. went to the Pharisee's house house and sat down to eat if you invite him he'll come Come on. the bible says seek ye the lord while he call upon him while he's listen you invite him he'll come all you got to do is call him he on the way hallelujah so the pharisee invited him to the house and he went to sup with him read phyllis and behold, and behold, a woman in the city. And while they sitting there waiting to be waiting to eat, laying on the floor because that their their custom don't sitting around a table like you see the Lord's Supper. Mm -hmm. Amen. Their custom was to lay on the floor, uh -huh. lay on the floor, uh -huh. and eat laying down. That's the, that was the custom. So they were just eating. They were getting ready to eat, lay down. And while he was laying down, getting ready to eat, there came in a what? A woman in the city. A woman that was in that city. Who was a sinner. Who was a sinner. sinner. You know what? We, we had a Sunday school lesson and they identified this woman as Mary, the sister of Lazarus, Lazarus and Martha. Amen. And she came in, a woman of that city came in while they were yet getting ready to eat dinner. You'll see a parallel story in John. Parallel. Somebody said it was two different incidents. I will tell you it was the same, was the same. by a different reporter. That's right. That's if you look right. at the news on Channel 3, they're going to say some different things than they do on Channel 10. That's right. But it was it's the perception of the writer. That's right. I'll tell you it's the same story. It's the same story of the alabaster box. So she come in. They told in John version they said it took a pound of spike knot. Uh -huh. Very costly. This is the alabaster box. That was that's what was in that box. Read, read, fellas. When she knew that Jesus And when she knew that Jesus sat at the table. When she knew he was in that place. She he came, she came in. Now sometimes, sometimes you ain't got to invite him, just go where you at. Mm. Lord. That's right. That's right. Huh? You ain't got, you ain't, he ain't got to, one thing about it, he won't cash you out. That's right. If you come in, he won't put you out. Hello, somebody. That's how Jesus is. I'm just, I'm just trying to understand us, though. Right, right. That's right. Because that same spirit that made him alive is supposed to be making us alive. That's right. And I don't know what's the difference now. Read. When she knew that Jesus sat at the when table, she knew he sat at the table in the Pharisee's house. At the Pharisee house, brought an alabaster flask of fragrant oil. She brought an alabaster box of fragrant oil. Very what? Costly. It was very costly. Hallelujah. We always looking at what people done done. <laughs> God looking at what they bringing. Yes. He ain't looking at nothing about what they done done. He looking at what she willing to offer. And she felt like she ain't had nothing to offer but this alabaster. That's all they got. They ain't got nothing. I mean, some of us come, we want to offer some things. Hello. Hey Amen. The, the, listen, listen we, we have gotten to a place in church where you can't even be real. Huh? Can't be real, George, because if I'm real, amen, I'm out. Then we tell folks, come as they are, but put on this dress before you get here. 
or put on this act or pretend. That's right. That's right. Amen. Nobody should come to church pretending. That's right. That's right. Hello. Amen. Nobody should come to church faking. And if we facilitate faking, then we raise up hypocrites. That's it. Hello, somebody. But everybody ought to come just like they are. Mm -hmm. Lord, this is who I am. I'm coming because I need your help. That's right. I'm not coming because I want to stay like I am. I came because I, somebody told me you can help me. Yeah. But if I fake, how can I get help? coming because I came in the church because I need help. I think Marcus said, amen, people just come for help. I remember we was out in the parking lot. He said, people just come for help. And we got to go through seven programs before we get that. Wow. We got to go through some scrutinization jacket before we get help. Mm. I'm just coming for help. I don't know nobody, amen, that's having a heart attack. They don't even let you have to fill out forms when you're having a heart attack. They just take you right on back to the back. That's right. That's right. Later for the paperwork. Anybody work at the hospital know what I'm talking about? You ain't got to go through no paper in extreme. They take you right back. But in the church, hold up, wait a minute. We got to qualify you. Got to screen you. We got to qualify you whether you belong here or not. We in trouble. The harvest is plentiful. He didn't tell you to inspect it. He told you to gather it. That's right. Do he tell you to inspect it? No. It's not your job to inspect it. The reaper's coming. They're going to inspect the harvest. But us, we just gathered it in. We labors in his vineyard. Hallelujah. I ain't going to qualify. Who you The qualifications, you'll see what happened in the midst of time. Read, Phyllis. And stood at his feet behind him. They stood at his feet behind him. Mm -hmm. she, go ahead, Phyllis. Weeping. Crying. And she began to wash his feet with her tears. I'm, 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 I'm thinking... If you're longing to be a part of something, you want your life changed. You'd have been here like the woman who was had the issue of blood. You've been to every doctor. Some people been to psychologists. Some people been to psychiatrists. Some folks that had family counseling, and they none the better. And we got a nerve not to want them in church. They're going to spend all their living trying to get some help. And then when they get to the church, we scrutinize. You don't look like us. They slipped up and cursed. And we all know, we don't do that here, child. Like you never heard cursing before. They got alcohol on their breath like you ain't used to drink. Come on, stop playing. And that's because they have alcohol that does dis disqualify them. It's God that's growing. It's God that's calling. This woman was a prostitute. Isn't that something? She was a prostitute, a woman of the night, but she needed Jesus. I don't care what I'm doing. You don't know who I want. Just because I'm doing wrong don't mean I don't want Jesus. The reason why I'm doing wrong is because I don't find no way to escape it. Oh, wretched man that I am. Who will deliver me? Who can deliver me? I'm struggling with it. I've been trying, but I can't stop. Yeah, the folk in the church who didn't escape don't want you to get out. Got their foot on the jail door. I know y'all don't want to hear it now, but read, read, Phyllis. And wiped them with the hair of her head, and she kissed his feet and anointed them with the fragrant oil. I think, I think sometime Carl said something in Bible study, the relationship that Mary, Martha, and, and, and Lazarus had was a relationship that was built over time. Mm. But it was built in the midst of fault. And the fault went on Jesus. And he never expected like we expect. 
we expect an overnight change. If it was 10 years, he still stayed in the relationship. He knew that Mary won't live in nothing. People do in the town, she won't live in nothing. But she was his follower. You mean Jesus had followers that won't live in nothing? Absolutely. Absolutely. He had followers that won't live in nothing, but he didn't scrutinize them and say, you can't follow me no more. Because sometimes with us, it's about then who we want to follow. Jesus wasn't about numbers either. That's right. That's right. He wasn't about the crowd. But the people came to him, Cheryl, because they know he was open. He was open to receive them. Know our folk don't come to our church? Because we're not going to be receptive to that. We ain't putting up with that. And I tell you what, if you don't put up with something with children, you'll never raise them. I don't know how many of y'all had perfect children and you had to put nothing on them. But Jesus, he was patient. That's right. He was touched by the feelings of her, inf her infirmities. That's right. But she wasn't the only one who touched him. The man who invited him touched him. He wasn't the only one touched him. Sometimes God looking at the people we trying to exclude, but he also looking at us. What, we, what, what, what response do we have? Glory to God. Hallelujah. We say the harvest is plentiful, but we don't want no harvest. Amen. God's not going to give us no harvest because we don't want no harvest. Amen. We're looking for like kind. Hello, somebody. Amen. We're looking for folk just like us. Hallelujah. Folk going to do what we say. And when we say do it and how we say do it, child, I done found out, amen, that there are diversification of people out here. Everybody don't operate the same way. Everybody, amen, don't come out at the same time. Sometimes it take one one day. And sometimes it take one two months. And sometimes it take one three months. And sometimes it take 130 years it just don't work that way it don't work that way the harvest is he said plentiful and he was showing the demonstration here is that he was showing he didn't come to wear the Pharisee he could have came a Pharisee his teaching more aligned with Pharisaic teaching than any other other sects that were teaching but he didn't label himself a Pharisee and he didn't come through the Pharisee way because the Pharisee had in them this amen uh, 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 aura of exclusivity I got him and I got him only Jesus said amen that the, the scribes and the Pharisee they encompass sea and land to get them one piece of wheat the harvest and then after they get to him, they teach him just a worse as he worse off than he was when he came into church. We don't think it's true, but it's true. It's true. If anybody walk around here, anybody come through here and say, hey "Amen," they don't feel welcome. That's because we don't have a welcoming attitude. I'm not telling you that Jesus accepted their lifestyle, but he welcomed them. You know why? When you got faith in God's word, I'm going to tell you, I got faith in his word. When you got faith in God's word, the word going to do the change. Huh? The word just changed. I'm telling you right now, I'm not changed. I won't change because I came to church. I came because the word of God made change in my life. It's the word that spoke to me in the midnight hour. It's the word that spoke to me when I was down. It's the word that spoke to me when I was doing what's wrong. It's the word of God that came and cleaned me up. Jesus said, you are clean through the word. The word. It's the word. Not your comments. Not your opinion. It's the word that's going to do it. And if we can't welcome people to stay under the word, Come on. Come on. how in the world are we going to get them saved? Yeah. If we can't welcome them to stay under the word, if we can't be patient with them, wasn't somebody patient with you? 
folk know you won't live in nothing. They didn't come and tell you you won't live in nothing, but with loving kindness. Don't think that people didn't know you was messing up. Come on. But they knew that if they told you that, they'd run your way. Ooh. And they understood the power of his word. Come on. Hallelujah, to make a change. Come on. To make a change in your life. It might not change you today, but it's working on you. Right. Hallelujah. Word work on us. On. It work on us. And that's what God want us to see. Read for me, Phyllis. I'm done. Now when the Pharisee, now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, listen, he spoke to himself Pierce saying, Pierce ain't got nothing but sinners in the church. That's good. That's the best thing could happen. I got all sinners in here. Amen. Because he didn't come to call the righteous to repentance. That's right. That's the word. He come to call sinners. If you're righteous, go down and cook, brothers. Just wait on it. Say, well, Mr. Cook, say what you're doing. I'm waiting on the Lord. But he come to call sinners. And it's by the word of God, the minister, the preach word. I'm, I'm not getting around the word. The preach word of God. Jesus was the word. The word. And God became flesh. And the word was. Uh, the word was God. And he became flesh and he dwelt among them. And when he ministered to them, it was the word that took effect in their life. It's the word that transformed them and made them, amen, the disciples they should be. It's kind of amazing. Somebody told me on Friday night, they said Jesus is the only one that ever did it right when it came to transition. He died and left. He, ain't, he, was, he gave them three years and he left. And he didn't leave at a good time. But he understood that the word that he had taught them was going to be able to take them through. That's right. That's right. It's the word that's going to take you through. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come Jesus on. had confidence. We got confidence in everything but the word. Come on, say it. That's right. The word. How do you receive the Holy Ghost? From the word of God. It was the word that caused me to receive the Holy Ghost. I didn't know it was the Holy Ghost. But his word came to me and said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It's because I believe the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. It's his word that saves us, his word that makes us holy. And the Pharisee, amen, just like, amen, the people today, hallelujah, in this religious, in this religious system that we have, hallelujah, all we want is perfect people in the church. Thank you, God. We don't even care about the lost, hallelujah. Let them stay lost. Amen. They're out there filthy and they're sinners, amen, and they're going to stay sinners until the word come. And if we don't send the word, the Bible say he'll raise up stone. <laughs> He'll raise up a seed that will take the word. Amen. To, unto us has been given a dispensation of the gospel. There's an economy on us. We have a charge to preach the word and to accept those who God accepts. I'm quite sure that Peter never expected the Gentiles to be saved. Never. He had a problem when God told him to go there. That's us. That's us. We don't think certain people are going to be saved. But God said, go down. Hallelujah. To Cornelius' house. Went down to Cornelius' house and preached the word to Cornelius. Cornelius didn't know nothing about the gospel, so he didn't preach to Cornelius a church message. He preached to him a message that was conducive to his understanding. When he preached Jesus to Cornelius, he told, he introduced Jesus to Cornelius. Cornelius ain't know nothing about him, but he introduced him to him. And when Cornelius heard that word, you know what he did? The Holy Ghost. The 
the Holy Ghost fell on Cornelius. And Peter said, can we forbid these water? They were astonished. They were astonished because they thought God won't go into that house. But God specialized in going to the house of those that we exclude. <laughs> yeah. He specialized. He, he going to make a special visit there. Because we exclude them. And we talking about ain't nothing to them. But God ain't saying that. Thank you, Lord. And who, is, who are we to say anything about what God let and what God allowed? Because these people didn't believe. And look, they, they had it hard pressed to go back to Jerusalem and tell the people that they, the Gentiles had received the Holy Ghost. They were a little bit afraid of that, that they had received the Holy Ghost. And for Peter had witnesses that these people don't receive the Holy Ghost as well as we. And they baptized them in the name of the Lord Jesus. And so they completed that plan of salvation in them. Hallelujah. They didn't leave them out there just with the Holy Ghost and no baptism. They understood in order for their sins to be forgiven. Hallelujah. They had to be baptized and in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So they baptized them in Jesus' name and they put them in the body of Christ. Simon had a problem. Read. Now when the Pharisee now when the who Pharisee, had invited him saw this, now when he saw it, he spoke to himself saying, now the folk looking at, look who you let in the church. This man, if he look were a prophet. Look what Peter's got over there. Uh-huh. Huh? This man. This man. If he were a prophet. If he was a prophet. Would know who and what manner of woman this is. You hear that, George? Who is touching him. And that's how folk feel. For she is a sinner. When folk can spot your life, that's what they're talking about. I don't know none of us who lived a perfect life. If you have, come stand right in that corner. Folk sure need to see you. <laughs> you need to be, need to be in the corner because you need you the perfect example. And then while you're over there, get some counsel to all us how we can be perfect. But the man, when he seen that, that, he, that Jesus let this woman touch him. Mm -hmm. That if he were a prophet. If he was a prophet. Go ahead. Go if, ahead. If he were a prophet would know who and what manner of woman this is. You know what's amazing to me? Is that you could be the filthiest sinner that man say you are. Mm -hmm. But when your heart right toward God, uh -huh. you can touch him. I mean, you could be the dirtiest thing out here. Ahab was the worst king in Israel. But when he turned his heart, when he cried to God, God got moved by him, his tears. Hallelujah. You'd be amazed at how God is touched. The Bible says, a broken and a contrite spirit. When you get broken and you hurt to the, you mean you hurt to the core. Have you ever been hurt to the core? Yeah. I mean, have you ever been hurt to the core where you couldn't help but do nothing but cry? Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus, you don't want to cry, but all you can do is cry. Yeah. Hallelujah. How many people have ever been there? Hey, Amen. I've been there where you just see like the tears that's flowing down. And I say to myself, Lord, I don't want to cry, but I cried anyway. And don't you know then God is right there. He's right there to provide comfort. Even though sometimes it's our own mistakes that have caused us this pain. He's right there. He's not standing on the side talking, about, you deserve it, you deserve it, you deserve it. He's right there. We portray God as if he only deal with us. And that's no truth to that. I like what the preacher said during the, Elder Drew said during the conference last Sunday when he said he pouring out his spirit. He said he said going to pour out the spirit upon all flesh. Didn't he say that? And so you ask the question, but he didn't say he going to fill all flesh with the Holy Ghost, but he said he going to pour out his spirit on them. It's the difference between being poured out on and being filled. 
Every time you preach the word, he pouring out the spirit. Because the word that we preach is spirit and is life. And he pouring out his flesh, spirit. By the teach and the preach word, by his doctrine, his spirit being poured out. You don't have to receive it, but he pouring it out. And he make an offer to you. You can have this if you just receive this. That's all you got to do is receive it. That's God. It's amazing how God loved the, the loveless. People that's hard to love, God love them. You was hard to love one time. I know y'all was lovable. <laughs> hey Amen. Some of us, some of us was like underdog. We humble and lovable. Hey Amen. But God loved those that are unlovable. And this woman was, she felt herself to be unlovable. And the people around her, the religious, the religious system of the day say this. She ain't got no business touching you. You was a prophet, but he was more than a prophet. He was God. This man couldn't recognize who he was, but he was God. He was the perfect portrayal of God. He was God manifested in the flesh. Amen. And what he did, demonstrated to us, we never caught the message. We haven't caught it today that God will accept what we reject. We throw it right in the trash, and God want it. He want to use it. He want to read. What manner of woman this is who is touching him, for she is a sinner. She a sinner. Go ahead. You want me to continue? Yeah, go ahead. I'm done, too. And Jesus answered. Now, Jesus, now, look, Jesus got the answer because this in his heart. He ain't saying this in public. He ain't saying it. That's right. He's not saying it vocally. He's he not vocalizing he, this. He spoke he not, to himself. He's not verbalizing it, but he's talking in his head. Mm -hmm. That's his thought. Jesus is concerned with your thoughts, too. That's right. He ain't just, think, he ain't just talking about the things you saying out your mouth. He know your thoughts. And so he's looking at, listening to what you're saying in your thoughts. That's you right. looking at folk talking, they can't be saved. No, I don't even know what they're spending time with. God heard it. Yes. Help, Lord. God heard. Why did he put up with them? God hear that. But somebody put up with you. Uh, I still do. And somebody else said the same thing you saying about somebody else. Somebody else said the same thing about you. Everybody in the church, actually, they was easy to get along with. You was a mess, and it took somebody with patience to get you the way you are now. That's right. Somebody had to see that God wanted you yes. in order for them to take the time with you. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. So, the man, go ahead, Phyllis. I'm, I'm and trying. Jesus answered and said to him, Simon. Simon. I have something to say to you. So look, I got something to say to you because you got this, you got some, you got some contrary thoughts going on here. In the book of John, it said that Judas Iscariot, mm -hmm. the son of Simon. So I will portray to you, because I try to look this up, that this was Judas' father. And they were at Judas' father's house. I used to wonder, well, how would Judas connect with the priest in order to get that done? Because he had this, been, this avenue to go by. Now, don't tell me that's true. You can't find nothing about Judas' lineage. But that, in the book of John, where he said that he's the son of Simon. And this was Simon who had this thought. It was his house. And so if you connect the two stories, then you get a story. But, he, but Judas had a problem with her breaking the box. Mm -hmm. Simon had a problem with her touching Jesus. Mm -hmm. Everybody got a problem. But Jesus didn't have a problem. That's the main thing. Even though you don't want me, I'm glad Jesus wants me. I'm glad that Jesus don't turn me away. So he said, Simon, I got something to say to you. Read. So he said, 
teacher Teach. say it. Uh-huh. There was a certain creditor uh-huh. who had two debtors. <laughs> one owed 500 denarii and the other 50. And when they had nothing with which to repay, he freely forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him more? Mm-hmm. Simon answered and said, I suppose the one whom he forgave more. And he said to him, you have rightly judged. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has washed my feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Therefore, I say to you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. For she so loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Then he said to her, your sins are forgiven. And those who sat at the table with him began to say to themselves, who is this who even forgives sins? And so Jesus, amen, recognized that this woman didn't have nothing to give. She felt nothing. All she had was this alabaster box to give, and she was willing to give that. I talk about willingness. She was willing to give the most expensive thing that she could give. And she willing, willingly gave that to Christ. Well, Simon didn't even do the courtesy. It was just courtesy, that common courtesy. At that time, that when you invited a guest to your house, you would wash their feet. And he wouldn't even do that. Then you would anoint them with oil because that anointing, amen, the sun, the dryness of the, of the climate caused them to be real dry, so they wanted to anoint themselves with oil. And Simon didn't even do the least courtesy, the least thing. Sometimes you have people come to church crying out for God, crying out for God. And sometimes we'll just sit back and look at them cry. Hallelujah. We'll sit back and without, without any, any, kind of, any kind of feeling, not being touched. You mean to tell me you can see somebody cry and you're not touched? That's beyond humanity. That's beyond humanity that, that we don't cry. When they went to the tomb of Lazarus, you know why Jesus wept? Because it was human. It was a human emotion. When you go to anywhere, have you ever been to a funeral and the people be wailing? Have you ever been there and they wailing? They don't wail like they used to wail. But one time, amen, when people went to funerals, people would really be crying. Amen. They'd be so crying so much that you get caught up in the crying. I don't even know the people that I'm crying. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, because it touched me. Amen. That the people, amen, want God so badly. Do it touch you today that somebody want God? Amen. Don't you want somebody to want him? Hallelujah. Don't you want somebody to approach him? Hallelujah. Do you want? I don't want to get in the way of anybody. Amen. I don't want my comments or my opinions or even my very thought, hallelujah, to stop anybody from coming to Christ. Amen. Because everybody, amen, got a right to him. Glory to God. He's the savior of the world. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. He have opened up his, I opened up his arms to the whole world. I don't want to be an obstruction, amen, by my opinion, amen, about my thoughts, about my actions that has caused anybody not to want Christ. Hallelujah. I don't want to impede anybody from coming to Christ. I don't know what you're going to be. Amen. You might be where you are now, but I know a God, hallelujah, that's able to transform you. Glory to God. Amen. Some of us, hallelujah, were drug addicts. Some of us were alcoholics. Some of us were adulterers. Hallelujah. But Jesus came along and he transformed from us. Hallelujah. He welcomed us in when we were yet sinners. The Bible say Christ died. He didn't wait for you to get saved. But he died while we were yet sinners. And then he welcomed us in. Hallelujah. So I thank God today. Come on, let us stand. Hallelujah. I thank God. Amen. There's a harvest out there. And we got to prepare ourselves for the harvest. Hallelujah, we got to get our house in order. Amen, we got to get our house in order. We got to get the house in order. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got to make room for the harvest. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. When I talk about make room for the harvest, I'm talking about get that junk out your mind. Get that junk out your mind. Hallelujah. That this one don't deserve to be saved. I want you to get that out your mind. Get that out your heart. Hallelujah. Get it out your heart that God can't save this one because there's nobody God can't save. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Especially when they come willing. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, because that's accepted with God. Thank you. Hallelujah. God wants those that are willing to come. Not those that you got a brow beat to come, but those that are willing to come and to submit and surrender themselves to the word of God. Hallelujah. To the spirit of the living God. God wants those. Amen. He don't want us to, amen, feel like there's nobody that can't be saved. If nobody, if it's somebody that can't be saved, that means that he's not the savior of the world. Hello, somebody. Thank you. Ain't nobody out there that can't be saved. God looking, hallelujah, looking around. Amen. Searching all over the land. The Bible says he's seeking those that'll worship him. And who knew that Mary loved Jesus that much? Who knew by her lifestyle that she loved God that much? Who knew it? And that's why you can't judge by what people are doing. The Bible says that God, amen, he don't look on the outside. But he's looking at the heart. And I'm so glad he's the only one that can look at your heart. He's the only one that know where you are right now. Right now in your life. Hallelujah. I don't know what you did last night. It ain't even about last night. It's where your heart is right now. Hallelujah. Is your heart ready to receive him? Do you want him in your life? Hallelujah. Are you des desperately seeking after him? Because seeking after God often is not a man is not manifested, amen, so often by our everyday actions. It's measured by when we get in the presence of God. Do you want him now? Mary was in the presence of Jesus. And she demonstrated in that very presence, God, I want you. Hallelujah. I'm willing to offer this unto you. Hallelujah. I'm willing to do this for you. Take the oil, amen, that cost me a whole lot to get. And I'm willing to break this box and pour this upon you. Hallelujah. To show my love. To demonstrate my love for you. Today, amen, will you come. Hallelujah, Jesus. If you want the Lord, hallelujah, you seeking after him. Hallelujah. You want him with all your heart and all your mind and all your soul. He's in this place right now. Just like he was sitting, hallelujah, at Simon's house and Mary came in. Glory to God. God is here right now for those who want him. For those who want him, hallelujah. If you want him today, amen, we want you to make an approach to the altar. Just like Mary had to walk through those streets and go into Simon's house. Amen. You have to walk down that aisle, hallelujah, and say, Lord, I want you. I want you, hallelujah. I want you with everything that's in me. Glory to God. I want you, hallelujah, to fill me, God. I want you to abide in me, God. I want you to change my life, God. In the name of myself, heal me, deliver my soul, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you want him today, hallelujah. He's here, hallelujah. He's here, he's here. Glory to God. Reach out and touch him, hallelujah. Pour your love upon him, glory to God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Can we have the elders up, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, glory to God, hallelujah. Work with Sister Monique. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, will you come today? Will you come because he's here, hallelujah. Thank you, God, hallelujah. He's here to heal you. He's here to deliver you, to give you the blessing of deliverance. He's here to give you the blessing, hallelujah, of healing. He's here in this place right now, God. Hallelujah, won't you pour your love out upon him? Hallelujah, Jesus. Don't worry about the folk all around you, everybody. Thank you, God. We all need him. Hallelujah. We need him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.
bread of life sent down from glory many things you were on earth a holy king a comforter you are the living word bread of life sent down from glory many things you were on earth a holy king a carpenter you are the living word awesome ruler gentle redeemer god with us the living truth and what a friend we have in you you are the living world awesome ruler gentle redeemer god with us the living truth and what a friend we have in you you are the living word she gentle redeemer mm. god with us the living truth and what a friend we have in you you are the living word the living word bread of heaven sent down from glory many things you were on earth a holy king a carpenter you are the living word all the 
living word. Oh, 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 Word. Jesus, Jesus, 
that's what we call you. Manger born, but on a tree, you died to save humanity. You are the living word. Oh, oh, oh. living word Saints, hallelujah. Thank you, hallelujah. Come on and praise him, hallelujah. We thank God. Glory to God, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord, amen, is all on Sister Monique, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, God, hallelujah. Her profession is, hallelujah, that the Lord filled her with the Holy Ghost, already had filled her with the Holy Ghost. And how many people know all you just need is a renewing, hallelujah, just a renewing of it, hallelujah, refreshing of it, glory to God, hallelujah. He's on her right now. Thank you, God, hallelujah. I know we got a baptism, hallelujah, that we're going to, we got to have, hallelujah, Jesus. And, amen. Is the candidate getting ready? Is it? All right, hallelujah. Thank you, God. We got the baptism. In Jesus' name, but anybody else want to be baptized, we got clothes. Hallelujah. We got all you need to get baptized. We got water and clothes. and Amen. We got the word to baptize you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Neither is there salvation in any other. Hallelujah. For there is none other name given under heaven amongst men whereby we must be saved. Hallelujah. You got to have, amen, the name of Jesus. Jesus the one who died for us. He's the Savior of the world. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he's in this place right now. Hallelujah. Amen. All you got to do is reach out and grab him. Hallelujah. Reach out and feel for him. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's good and he's merciful. He's kind and he's loving. Hallelujah. If you need help today, come on, throw your hands up and say, Lord, help me. Hallelujah. Help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, help me, Lord. Hallelujah. Say your help, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, he'll help you, hallelujah, he's a very present help, tell somebody he's a present help in the time of trouble, hallelujah, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus, amen, the preacher spoke on, land, on Sunday, amen, on Friday night, amen, his message is my help is in the name of the Lord, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, we can have help, Hallelujah. Can we gonna amen? Come on. Come on. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Can somebody pull the curtain back? Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If you can't see, amen. We're gonna try to get it on the screen. Hallelujah. So you can see.
you see the pool? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That is like Christ, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. On the day of Pentecost, the, the brethren asked Peter, what shall we do? And Peter responded, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We thank God. Hallelujah. For, amen. Come on and give another hand in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Kyla. Kyla. Hallelujah. For Sister Kyla. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Come on, let us stand. Amen. We're going to have a benediction. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give a hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for her. Hallelujah. Being baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We want you to, amen. Amen. We want 
pray for, amen, Sister Nostalgia, amen, her husband, amen, Michael, hallelujah, his mother passed this morning, so pray, amen, that the Lord will comfort the family, hallelujah, because he's a comforter, glory to God, in this hour of sorrow, hallelujah, so we thank God, hallelujah, in Jesus, okay, y'all happy? Amen, are you happy for real? Yes. Amen. Come on, let's look to the Lord. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you, God. Hallelujah for your goodness and your mercy and your loving kindness. God, thank you for your word on today, God. Hallelujah. We were found in your word in the name of Jesus Christ, whether on the bad side or the good side, God. You found us in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you that we received it for correction and for instruction, God. Even for joy, hallelujah, we praise you. We give you glory for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do in these last days. Remember Remember, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, the candidate who was baptized in your name, Lord Jesus. Yes. Remember her, oh God, hallelujah. Yes. Hey, God, fulfill your promise to her, God. Yes. Fill her with the Holy Ghost. Yes. This is our prayer. This is our cry. This is our plea, God. Now unto him who's able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, glory, dominion, majesty, and power, both now and forever. Let all all of those who love